Bradleys are the Southwest's leading independent estate agents, with 33 offices covering Cornwall, Devon and Somerset. Trusceva is in the hamlet of St Winnells and just over seven miles from Tor Point. It's an idyllic setting for a family home. You can see the sea out of virtually every window and you're under a mile from the coast path. So in one direction you can go to Whitsand Bay which has miles of golden sand between Rame Head and Port Wrinkle. And in the other direction you have the beaches of Down Derry and Seaton which are great for swimming and kayaking. In addition to all the land that belongs to the property, it's also surrounded by fields. And although it's a rural setting, you're close to the Tor Point Ferry here, so you can easily get across to Plymouth for shopping, restaurants and nightlife. For a cottage, you don't expect to come into this double height ceiling. You also have all the exposed stonework here. And rumour has it, the newel post on the staircase comes from a prestigious Navy ship and it dates back to 1891. Before you even come into this space though, you have a big porch and the Cornish coat of arms on the front door is a really lovely feature. From here, the hallway splits and on this side, you have a big family bathroom with sandstone and marble tiles, a spa bath and a separate walk-in shower. And next to the bathroom, the sitting room is not the only one, so it could also make an ideal bedroom for a teenager or for an elderly relative. On this side of the house, you have a utility room straight opposite the kitchen. There's even room for another oven in there. And in the kitchen, you have that big electric range cooker. There's also space for a dining table in the kitchen. You have the view over the swimming pool. And from the conservatory, you have those sea views. Then you have two further reception rooms. The one on the front of the house you may opt to have as a dining room, and the one on the back has a wood-burning stove, access to the garden, and again, really makes the most of the views. And now we'll head upstairs to the bedrooms. So there are two bedrooms on the front of the house. This one has sea glimpses, and it's en suite with a walk-in power shower. The single bedroom used to be a bathroom and I'm told that all of the plumbing is still under the floorboards. And then you have this bedroom on the back of the house which has views stretching all the way to Dartmoor. And from the master bedroom with the Juliet balcony doors open, you can even see the waves crashing when you have big surf and out of the other window again you have those views of Dartmoor. Plus it's en suite with a walk-in power shower. And we'll head outside now to explore all the land. As you come down the driveway, there are lots of fruit trees and camellias. There's also a children's play area, a summer house, and a large garage. The land is totally private here, and even the second driveway belongs to the house, with the neighbour just having express right of way. The swimming pool is heated, and if you do keep horses in the field behind, you can even see them from the pool. The field is just under four acres, it has its own water supply and a field shelter. And in addition to the stables at the front, which have a self-water feed, there is also planning permission for three further stables here behind me. And the footings are already in. You can ride a horse from here straight down to Seaton Beach. It's also dog friendly and so is the Waves Bar and Restaurant. And you cannot beat the sunsets here. The light is just beautiful. And although you can enjoy that from here in the garden, nothing beats seeing them from the coast path.
If you are thinking of selling a property and want to find out how to reach more of the right people across the globe whilst only bringing qualified buyers through your door, then please visit our website and navigate to our presenter-led property video page to see the future of property marketing in action today.